cabinets to go, but Modesto, California. Standing here at the new storefront location, we've got to cut it in. Uh, we're framed in for it, but we've got this beam across here that's going to have to be raised up. So it's going to have to be reframed to resecure this siding because I've got nothing to attach the door to the new aluminum storefront, and then the drywall can return into the the new storefront. So it's a double door setup with glass on each side. They're going to come tinted. Um, we got the p tacks going through this old roll-up door, which is secured into place. Uh, there's no way to open it at this point unless you pull some screws out from the inside. So we're going to cut the p tacks through this old door and, and uh, drain that to the outside. This is just an egress exit door. We're going to have to put a panic bar on it. There is going to be an exit sign above it. We'll paint that all to match. Framing's complete. We're waiting on an electrical inspection on the, on the in wall so that we can insulate and then get that inspected. I'm not sure where to put the counter. I need to find out so I can add an outlet for the counter. I'm assuming if we're going to use this, you know, this is our entry, so I would think the counter should go along this wall right here. I'm going to add an outlet with a quad, just similar to this for the computers. Um, so if you're standing here looking in, we've got the design center planned for this corner here. That leaves the whole rest of this wall for cabinets and this wall here for cabinets. And then there'll still be some space. The ladder is about the end of the kitchen for the design center, so there's still some space here. We've got the bathroom door here. We've got a little utility closet we put into the corner here. Reason being, there's no warehouse space for the cabinet side of things. There was no electrical panel for the cabinet cabinets to go, so we brought in a new service panel. It's a 100 amp service panel. It's fed off of Lumber Liquidator's existing panel, so if that main breaker pops for lumber, this is going to go dead. So we'll have to get access into Lumber Liquidators to re reset that breaker. Um, we got a quad outlet here for foam board, which can be mounted on this wall here. Well, this will be a quad. It's a single now. Um, and then this will be a drywall with a ceiling in it with a light per coat. Alright, so this is the bathroom. We got planned for a hard ceiling in here. Got the bath fan installed. It's up and vented to the outside. The end wall plumbing is finished. Tomorrow we'll be getting inspected so I can start insulating again, like I said. Insta hot underneath the sink. All the backers are in place. Concrete's going back in tomorrow. The underground's already been inspected and passed. And outside there is where they're compacting, uh, where they did the sewer tap. So once they get finished with the concrete, now I can finish the plywood wall to the corner, like we did the rest of the warehouse for lumber liquidators. And I can finish the bumpers all the way around. So you can see half of this wall has been drywalled. This is lumber liquidator side. So again, once the concrete's back in place, I can finish framing this wall in and board both sides. And then I can do my bumpers. Once the drywall goes on this demising wall here, then I can finish the plywood on the warehouse wall. So we got the ADA bathroom coming out of the bathroom, little closet to the left, new storefront location right here. I think we should put the counter where this scissor lift is right now. I'm just going to put an outlet there and plan on that being the counter. The reason we want to do the design center here is because of this trench that's already cut in. So because this is being inspected, I've got to run PVC pipe underground and over into the island area for the computers and the Cat5. So this is set up for a refrigerator here, a microwave here, and then there's a switch here to run. I'm going to put eyebrow can lighting into the grid to enhance the kitchen cabinetry. 
Alright, that's it from Cabinets to Go.